So just came back from my first gynae clinic. A lot of people get confused between the difference of obstetrics and gynecology, which are the two categories of women's health. So obstetrics is all to do with pregnancy. So making sure that the mum is healthy and the baby is healthy while they are in the womb of the mother. And gynecology is more to do with the female reproductive system. So today I uh, observed a gynae clinic, meaning that all the conditions that I were watching were more so to do with particularly postmenopausal health. Most of the patients that I saw came in with the presenting complaint of menorrhagia. Menorrhagia is a medical term that means very heavy menstrual bleeding or heavy periods. And there are a variety of causes of menorrhagia. Most of them are to do with certain growths or masses in the uterus. They can be due to polyps. They can be due to adenomyosis, which is growth of the endometrium within the muscle of the uterus rather than in the inner layer. They can be due to leiomyosis, which is a fancy term for fibroids, or they can be due to cancer, which means that the cells inside the uterus have changed and evolved into something unhealthy and therefore has the risk of spreading to other parts of the body. just came back from theater and I was lucky enough to scrub in. It was quite a uncomplicated cesarean section. It was a little bit hard just because the baby's head was in an occipital transverse position. So it was a bit harder for the doctor to um, move her hand and try to rotate the head out. Um, however, the baby came out very healthy. It was really good to see how uh, straightforward and fast track the whole procedure could be especially for the mother considering how much pain she would have been in for her to have gotten an emergency caesar something interesting to see for this specific operation was how the roles of the midwife and the doctor were different the midwife is primarily um, focusing on uh, taking after the baby once they have been delivered and ensuring that the health of the baby is good whereas the doctors are more so responsible for the mother and um, closing up the cesarean and ensuring that there isn't any complications from the operation. So just got back from my birth unit. It was quite a long day. Um, starting from seven o'clock, I immediately joined my midwife at the operating theater to shadow the cesarean section I talked about before. And then there were multiple mothers who came into the birth suite with the problem of reduced amniotic fluid. Now, this can mean one of two things. The first option, which is nine out of 10 the case, um, is that there has been a rupture of membranes, meaning that the water has broken and the mother didn't realize, or they did realize, but didn't think it was their water that broke. Um, the other case would be that the mother isn't able to provide enough nutrients to the placenta for the baby to grow well. And therefore there's reduced fluid in the womb to develop properly. In both of these cases, what is usually needed is an induction of labor. Induction of labor is where you put a cannula or a plastic tube into the arm and put in chemicals into the body to make the uterus contract earlier, meaning ultimately that the baby will have to be delivered earlier than planned. It is 3.30 now and it is a really hot day, so I cannot wait to get home. I have some um, events coming up tonight, so i um, got to get home and get changed to prepare for that. Yeah. 
How do you feel about turning 21? I feel good. Um, it's sort of surreal, but... Congratulations for making it this far. Thank you. What's your like new year resolution, I guess, technically, oh. of your 21st year? 21st year? Well, yeah, do you gotta like give me a second? <laughs> oh yeah. Of course. <laughs>